Fractions A fraction is two numbers separated by a line. A fraction names the equal parts of a whole shape or whole object. The top number in a fraction is called the numerator. The numerator shows how many pieces of the whole there are. The three and three-fourths of a pizza shows that we have three of four equal pieces of pizza. The bottom number in a fraction is called the denominator. The denominator shows how many equal pieces an object is divided into. The four and three-fourths of a pizza shows that the pizza was divided into four equal pieces. This pizza does not represent or show the fraction three-fourths because the pieces are not equal. Unit Fractions To figure out the fraction for a shape or an object, we ask ourselves three questions. Take for example this circle. How many parts of the circle are red? 1. Which is the numerator? How many equal parts are there in all? 2. Which is the denominator? What is the fraction for the red part of the circle? 1 over 2 or 1 half. Take this circle. How many parts are red? 1. Which is the numerator? How many equal parts in all? 3. Which is the denominator? What is the fraction for the red part of the circle? 1 over 3, or 1 third. Now take this rectangle. How many parts are yellow? 1. Which is the numerator? And how many equal parts are there in all? 4. Which is the denominator? What is the fraction for the yellow part of the rectangle? 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. Now let's look at this rectangle. How many parts of this rectangle are yellow? 1. Which is the numerator? And how many equal parts are there in all? 10. Which is the denominator? What is the fraction for the yellow part of the rectangle? 1 over 10, or 1 tenth. Fractions can show more than just one piece of a whole. They can also represent parts of a group. We still use the same three questions as before, though. Take this rectangle. How many parts of this rectangle are yellow? 5, which is the numerator. And how many equal parts are there in all? 10, which is the denominator. Now what is the fraction for the yellow part of the rectangle? 5 over 10, or 5 tenths. Look at this circle. How many parts of the circle are red? 2, which is the numerator. And how many equal parts are there in all? 3, which is the denominator. Now what is the fraction for the red part of the circle? 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. Look at this group of socks. How many blue socks are in this group? Two, which is the numerator. And how many socks are there in all? Five, which is the denominator. Now what is the fraction of blue socks in the group? Two over five, or two fifths. We can also find the fraction for the number of green socks. There are three green socks, and there are five socks in all. That means that there are 3 out of 5, or 3 fifths, green socks in the group. Adding, subtracting, and comparing fractions. If the denominators, the bottom number in a fraction, are the same, or common denominators, we can easily add, subtract, or compare fractions. Adding 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. The denominators are both 4, so we simply add 2 plus 1, which equals 3. We place the 3 over the common denominator 4 and get 3 over 4, or 3 fourths. So 2 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. Subtracting 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. The denominators are both 8. So we simply subtract 5 minus 3, which equals 2. We place the 2 over the common denominator 8 and get 2 over 8, or 2 eighths. 
So 5 eighths minus 3 eighths equals 2 eighths. Comparing. When the denominators are the same, we look to see if the numerators are greater than, less than, or equal to each other. 2 sevenths and 4 sevenths. 2 is less than 4, so 2 sevenths is less than 4 sevenths. 5 sixths and 3 sixths. 5 is greater than 3, so 5 sixths is greater than 3 sixths. 1 third and 1 third. 1 equals 1, so 1 third is equal to 1 third.